レクイエムおすぐ YouTube しょぼいしょぼいってなるビデオんてでいぶてまファンファンシー16なるほどゲームニュースやゲームでおばしてあなつあんみのりせんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんりんり Games like Final Fantasy, they feel like it's just not cool enough or whatever. And I, mean, I can, I can kind of understand. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Teach his own. Everybody doesn't play the same stuff. For me, I like to broaden out my horizon, try different things. I like JRPGs, so of course I'm gonna like Final Fantasy. But the way these new JRPGs are coming out right now, they're changing the game. Let's be honest. I mean, Tales of Arise was fantastic. Uh, that game was great for the for the future of the Tales franchise. I can't wait to see what the new Dragon Quest is gonna be like. Final Fantasy bringing this kind of energy. Uh, you know, the story already looks interesting for sure. Uh, from what I see, I'll be honest, I don't know what to make of the trailer, but we'll get back to actually like talking about that in a minute. And here's the thing I mentioned earlier that I have friends that don't play Final Fantasy, but I've been able to convert like maybe two of them. One by himself, he just converted by himself, and the other one through playing Final Fantasy 14. Now, I don't know if you've ever played Final Fantasy 14, like the MMO, but it's a fantastic game. And you know, anybody who plays that game will be interested in the lore and the backstory of Final Fantasy. That's just me, that's my opinion. You know, I feel like that's a good way to get somebody into the series to, to give them a, an MMO style game. So, when you see the actual mainline story games and they have amazing graphics and amazing combat, then of course they're gonna end up liking it. The other one played Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is a good way to get into the series for me, you know, because it's it, it's A different type of game than the old turn based games. They follow more of the system for Kingdom Hearts. So it's a little bit more like action based, just straight up action and stuff, which is what this game looks like. Like I said, going back to the trailer thing, I don't know what in the world is going on in this trailer. I don't.、Uh, I see a lot of like idolins or summons or whatever you want to call them. Whatever Final Fantasy game you play where they got summons. I see a lot of them battling each other and it seems like they have human re representation. Like, I don't know whether the human is summoning them or they're actual spirits that have human form, actual aeons that have human form. And that in itself brings up an interesting point. Because I don't think in no Final Fantasy we've had a. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. Not to go off on a tangent, but I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to Final Fantasy games. I've played, like, realistically, I've played only a couple of them, so I'm not, like, I'm not the one to sit here and be like, oh. You know, saying you're not a true Final Fantasy gamer because I don't even think I'm a true Final Fantasy gamer because there's a lot of people that have completed every single game in the franchise. Like, I play a lot of Final Fantasy VIII,、um, like beating Final Fantasy VIII, 12, 10, 13, all the 13s, all the 10s,、um, all the 7s, including the spin offs.、Um, and I platinum 15. 15? I'll get into that later. Let me get back on topic. Now, talking about this trailer again. I definitely think that this game could be Game of the Year material. I said it in my reaction video, and I honestly still believe that. You know, I was just building off the hype because I felt like the game was just looking really, really good. So I thought, you know, I said, you know, you get hyped and you just feel like, oh, this game is going to be the best game. I really still think that. You know, after a couple of days of just sitting, sitting with my thoughts, I think this game is going to be crazy for me.、Uh, but obviously, it won't win Game of the Year. I don't think Final Fantasy games win Game of the Year. Because I just feel like a lot of the general populace don't like Final Fantasy games. You know, like, look at God of War, specifically. God of War games, game of the year, it just has a bigger face. Meanwhile, games like Final Fantasy XV doesn't deserve a game of the year. And I understand that because Final Fantasy XV in itself was a weird combination. It's something I really hope it doesn't happen to XVI. I don't know if you guys know, but XV was basically one game and it was in development forever. You know, and like me forever. And then eventually they scrapped a lot of the original ideas and just came out with what was left. And the game for me was still fun. I played it, I beat it, and I platinumed it. I loved the game. Even though, even though it was the base game without all the little DLC and all the little backstory, I never went back to play the DLC because looking back on it, it was a great game. I feel like I loved the game, but after seeing all the information that dropped about what the game could have been, I was a little bit disappointed. That's the reason why I actually like 16. Coming out in 
you know, I feel like, like I said, the other game, the 15, was in development hell. Like, you couldn't, it would never get out of development. And now we actually have a release date and everything. Well, sort of a release date. We know it's supposed to come out in 2023. And, you know, basically, we won't have to wait too long for this game to come out. You know what I'm saying? They're taking another year to kind of polish and then finalize the game. So, it's going to be a good one. And the last thing I need to say about this is, is for in terms of Final Fantasy. This will be the first Final Fantasy besides 14 that has an actual PS5 version. That's going to be insane because like um, like Final Fantasy 15 was definitely a good visually looking game. But it's, it's going to have nothing on the way that the PS5 can make games look with 4K and 60 frames a second. It's going to be amazing. I, I definitely know it's going to be like a very smooth, buttery experience. And with that being said, guys, let me know how you feel about Final Fantasy 16. Do you think it's going to be an amazing game like I do? You feel like I'm just kind of overhyping it a little bit. Honestly, Final Fantasy does have a track record of kind of releasing games that are a little bit disappointing. Square Enix in general, like just, you know, I'm you know, I'm not going to speak on that. But, well, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, man. I've been, I've been gaming on Twitch lately. Uh, Twitch TV, Show Saga, same name. I'm currently running through Walking Dead, the Telltale series, and having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, like I said, I'll see you guys next video.